Oh, Michael Corey, can you feel it? My veins are pulsating with positivity. Let's go. New Day rocks. Michael, New Day rocks. Corey. Shut up, Saxton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Xavier Woods, representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. You know, the only thing worse than this pancake and unicorn parade is that I know for a fact these guys are gonna launch their clothes at me. <laughs> Don't be a negative Nancy, Corey. That's just part of the fun. It's not fun, and they need to fire whoever's doing their laundry. Oh, look out, Corey, look out. <laughs> Here comes Hell on Wheels. No introduction needed. And his opponent from Death Valley weighing in at 305 pounds. The You want to learn about longevity, what it takes to remain a superstar, top tier level your entire career here? Well, look at this man, The Undertaker. Changing with the times, but just as dominant as ever. Kobe Kingston here, a superstar who will tell you himself why he loves that fun and keep things light and positive. He still strives for greatness here in WWE, not just as a tag team competitor, but in a singles competition as well. Absolutely. As soon as Kofi steps into the square circle and that bell rings, he's out there to prove he's the very best. Tonight, he has another chance to prove just that. And staring him down across the ring, you've got the phenom, The Undertaker. It's certainly an unsettling feeling when Taker stares at you like that. He's looking past your eyes and deep into your soul, finding whatever weakness he can inside his opponent. I know Kofi loves to have fun and preach about the power of positivity, but tonight he needs to take things seriously in the ring. Get serious and get it done. And set right into the corner. Ah, oh, kick! Nasty kick. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Oh, yeah, Kofi scouted. Oh, that's it. Oh, look at this. Headbutt! Shot after shot. Oh, ruthless striking. Hoist it up. Oh, Suplex. He's taking some good hits. Leg drop. Goes into the pen. A little showmanship there from the dead man as he tries to get the crowd involved. What of an intense streak of the cover. And he breaks the count quickly. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon.
able to avoid any harm there. Backstreet into the post on the outside. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. He steps foot in the ring again. Kofi. Frustration might be starting to set in. Oh, hanging on for dear life. Oh. Is it enough? No, a kick out. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. Acrobatics like that take a trip. for his opponent. Yeah, heartbreaking, disappointing. But listen, I think he's got nothing to be ashamed of. He put forth his best effort. His opponent was just a little bit better here tonight. Time to party with the Prophets. <laughs> 
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angelo Dawkins, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. Guys, raise your cups for the Street Profits. We only have bottled water, you idiot. Well, look at me. I've got a cup. Check it out. What is in that cup? It stinks. It's homemade kombucha, Corey. Hey, you want some? No. Your loss. No time to panic. You have to maintain focus on the sinister Finn Balor to have any chance in this match. If you've got nervous butterflies, get rid of them now. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. versus Montez Ford for the United States well, Championship. The body and the mind. The mark of a truly we just saw the taker beat Kofi. How he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree. Which Cole. means that the New Day and won't I be able to tag for a while. Enjoy it. it was a streak match. So. Uh, the first match was Undertaker versus Kofi Kingston. Kofi put the tag team of the New Day on the line against the streak. Unfortunately, Kofi lost. Finn Balor, a superstar, a good fight, has become though. synonymous with that explosive high risk in race. Now we got Finn Balor versus Montez. Damn it, Montez. As they come. That's a good point. The combination of explosiveness and precision Montez. are what make Balor a dangerous man to stand across the ring from. And let's turn our attention to the one and only Montez Ford, a superstar whose tongue is just as sharp as his style. You gotta love it when Tez gets on the mic and has the whole WWE Universe hanging on his every word. Yeah, and he backs up everything he says with his deeds inside the ring. Whether it's with his jokes or his high-flying attacks, Ford has a special gift for cutting opponents down to size. Sky high. A tremendous drop kick. Ford unable to fast talk his way out of that attack's path. And Balor exhibiting that explosive precision there. His opponent getting a taste of just how dangerous he can be. And just got caught with that DDT.
time to attack when his guard is down. He got whipped into that corner. sarcasm coming from you, Saxton. Maybe. The following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Introducing first, representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor in Survivor Series. Well, sometimes you forget just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar who has stood the test of time. Right, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. Triumphant 
return to the grandest stage. A man who helped define WrestleMania from the main event in the very first WrestleMania ever. Yeah, Roddy Piper is known for some of the most unforgettable and iconic moments in WrestleMania history. Hair matches, boxing matches, you name it, he did it all. And he's ready to make even more history tonight. secretly like the hot rod. I know you did, Byron. I admit it. I had a soft spot for Roddy Piper. A resume a mile long. Two-time Hall of Famer. One of WWE's most dominant champions. He is immortal. And from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. Hulkamania and WrestleMania are synonymous. This man here, Hulk Hogan, main evented eight of the first nine WrestleManias, including the biggest main event in WrestleMania history against Andre the Giant. Defeated the Macho Man Randy Savage when the Mega Powers exploded at WrestleMania 5. Had one of the greatest WrestleMania matches in WWE history against The Rock at WrestleMania 18. And most recently co-hosted WrestleMania 37 alongside WWE Global Ambassador Titus O'Neil. Oh, Kogan should have a great WrestleMania this time, as long as he remembers the name of the venue. WWE Universe is going crazy! I don't understand why all this hot dogging and grandstanding already. The match hasn't even begun yet. Don't you know, Corey, Hogan feeds off the energy from the WWE Universe. It's going to power him through this match. And by the way, what you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? That's pretty good, right? No, terrible. At least you and Hogan have the same hairline. <laughs> in the Hall of Fame, Cole. I'm looking at the toughest SOB in WWE history. And from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Austin has had classic WrestleMania matches against the likes of Bret Hart and The Rock. Yeah, but most recently, he made a return to the ring after 19 years to defeat Kevin Owens in the main event of WrestleMania 38. Handicap matches always create a tough predicament, and in this one, it's going to be Dolph Ziggler. And they will be dealing with Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan, and Steve Austin. We talk a lot about the numbers game in WWE, but a handicap match truly is the definition of the numbers game. Talk about unfair advantages. Oh, boo There are unfair advantages all the time in life, Saxton. If you can't handle a handicap situation every once in a while, you're not cut out to be a WWE superstar. Uh -huh. Oh! Steve, it's fucked up. 
Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Counters that. Punch right in the head. He's looking a little off balance. What a headbutt. Vicious. Ziggler telling the crowd what he already knows, and that is, damn, I look good. Able to get there in time. Byron, we talked about the importance of strategy. What can you tell us about creating a game plan for a matchup like this? If you're on the wrong end of the numbers game, a superstar must find a way to limit the options of the other team. Try and eliminate some of the competition. Now, which is why the outnumbered superstar can't waste any time going on the attack. Austin stomping a mud hole and walking it dry. Oh, man. Cover here! Kicks out before the two count. He's still got life in this matchup. Steve Austin played in one there. Oof. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. German suplex! Now Ziggler looking for the submission hold. Ziggler with the sleeper hold. His opponent's fainting. Stone Cold! Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh my goodness! Not for long. A torturous knee. Austin firing up the crowd. They're ready to see him raise a little help. Kick to the gut. Oh, Ooh, brutal for him. Ooh. Oh, a kick by Ziggler. That's it. Austin is out. to the outside. What's he gonna do here? Oh, that hurt! What a hot shot! It's all the way to the outside. Want to lose that way. 
And you can see the effects of that on Ziggler's face now. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Skin of his teeth. So by Ziggler. Ziggler has this in hand. Shot. What's next? Shaped over the middle rope. Inside out with the double axe handle. And gets tossed back into the mat. One of the most popular musicians on the planet. Millions of albums sold. Countless awards. But tonight, Bad Bunny is here to fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico. Weighing in at 160 pounds. Bad Bunny! Not only can he surprise you in the ring, he's actually earned a few accolades in WWE. Yeah, he held the 24-7 championship for a month and was the youngest champion in that title's history. That's a million times longer than both of you held it. At least I beat Corey to win it. Bad Buddy has stolen the show in WWE before, and he may just do it again tonight. And we'll probably see once again that Buddies can fly. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. What happened? The one, the only, Logan Paul. And his opponent from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I saw, I saw Dolph Ziggler get his ass whooped. That's what I said. Logan Paul. It's kind of fucked up, too. The Eric's taking on some of the top names of boxing and WWE. And he may be big on the internet. That man Dolph's about to hit the finisher. And that man, Roddy grabs his ass. Why don't you roll? So not out today. Yourself, got I'm good. I'm straight good into Hulk Hogan's Put a finish here. Respect on Logan Paul's name. <laughs> Did you see it? I, 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 
Yeah. How many folks can say they made that WWE yeah. debut across the ring from Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania? Yeah. You're right, Corey. Look at the that few ever oh. had. And Rey Mysterio was the one who felt the honor. WWE Universe, your eyes are not deceiving you. Oh! Logan Paul is here. Look it up. Oh! Body to the floor. That is tossing that your own body off. around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Oh, I got three viewers. Oh, God. Hi. Ah, oh, stops the legs. I, I don't know why I have fingers, but hello. Arms trapped. This is unique. Face first, driver. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. How you guys doing? Oh, and that buys some time. Oh, oh it gets put into the barricade. This has been a pretty good WrestleMania so far. Oh, oh guys, you gotta get back in the ring, guys. Uh, guys. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Ooh, line delivery. He also doesn't know that he's our fucking child. Sure, elbow to the gut turns so. that around. That honey sidesteps. And that was a well executed attack. Looking for something big here. This will do it up and driven down. Broken arrow. An enormous move by one of the biggest. Bad You're bunny welcome. setting up something big. What the heck? Bunny destroyer. Oh. Bad bunny just closed. Okay, that was here's your winner. Match. Bad bunny. That was a little two star match. Huh? The way okay. to put it, guys, that was kind of a butt kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Man, this must have been a payday match. That was the quickest shit ever. <laughs> that bunny destroyed Logan. Yeah, Bad Bunny destroyed him in two stars. A very average match. Yeah. He hit that goddamn Bunny Destroyer. Why is... Wait. Why is Omos on Edge's side? Uh oh, it started a new faction. The following contest is scheduled for one four and is for the WWE. Also, thank you guys for watching my WrestleMania at all. I think the card is shitty, but you guys let me know what you think of it. The ultimate Three. opportunist is here. A man. This man Edge. Once again claimed his at least, at least they're trying Johnny to keep w. up with Edge's hair. A Hall of Famer who has survived judgment and embraced his and darker he, side to become even Edge more dangerous shit right back out. than ever before. <laughs> Edge trying to see how accurate the team can get it. I'll cut my hair, then I'll grow my hair, then I'll cut my hair again. WrestleMania career. Including a main event match against the one and only Undertaker.
who we seen Undertaker earlier tonight getting a W over the New Day, defending his streak. And here comes MVP, the WWE champion. Make way for the double champ. Oh, he is double champ. That's so cool. He has the United States Championship and the WWE Championship. It's fucking dope. That's cool that people have double championship Only a small interests now. Only handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. MVP. You are going well, to have to defend to his beyond United States Championship against Finn Balor on Monday Night Raw mind. after WrestleMania. Oh, yes. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the Rated R Superstar Edge. I have four viewers. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at hmm? 259 pounds. He is the Are you watching too? WWE Champion Montel Von. Montavious Porter. Montavious Porter. To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best. I don't want to give this up, man. Industry. Yeah, I saw. Uh, what's up, G Body? You can include your voice if you want. Okay. <laughs> For over 50 years, the WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship oh. in professional wrestling, and tonight we may see a new chapter oh. in storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of the month. Oh. The man who lays claim to that title can call himself so, the buddy. very best competitor in this industry. Oh, foot just stomping down. You have Discord, G Body. Looking to apply pressure. He got it locked in. He may not have a choice. Gotta find a way out of the single weight Boston Crab. Oh wow, look at this incredible effort to get out. Face Buster. Uh-oh. Oh, good timing with that reversal. Do you think Edge is losing this match tonight, or do you think he's gonna come out WWE really champ? The champ getting put on the back foot here. I guess MVP. No way! Shit! Risk, cross body. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. It has to be hard to take on a veteran the likes of Edge, Corey. We've seen that he is not afraid to push the limits of his opponent or himself. That's the best part about taking on a veteran, Cole. There is a ton of game tape you can study. Edge is no different in that respect. He might not be predictable, but doing your homework on Edge can prove to be quite fruitful. Quickly into the cover of the title of the line. New champion, new champion. Oh, the champ nearly kicks out. Good Lord, scarily close to three. unloading his arsenal. Edge is holding nothing back. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Ooh. And MVP 
MVP put a stop to that. MVP managing to get some control back now. MVP. Maybe that will shut him up. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Yeah, and every time an attack like that connects, Edge gets more confident. Dominating shoulder tackle. I mean, it's just trying to do a comeback and fail. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. What a close line. Stomping down. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, MVP was reminding everyone he can still very much go.
Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge. What a shift into the tides with this championship match. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal and is for the Money in the Bank contract. Making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. We are about to bear witness to the Queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Well, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair. As physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. Hey, you can't deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. Bow your head, Saxton. Show some respect for the queen. The only time I bow my head is when my neck hurts. And from Queens, New York, Queen Zelina. Winner of the first ever Queen's Crown Tournament. Lest we forget, Zelina also became one half of the most beautiful tag team champions in all of WWE alongside Carmella. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. She may be diminutive in size, but Zelina is a master strategist inside the ring. And you're about to see her brilliant mind at work.
one of the top names in women's independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. And from Utah, the NXT Women's Champion, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. She calls herself the young veteran, Alba Fire. A woman with plenty of accolades, and she's just getting started. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! Easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside Io Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. A woman descended from generations of warriors. Fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. The self-proclaimed Hell's Favorite Harlot. And you can see exactly why. And representing Toxic Attraction from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. Dolan competed in some of the top independent promotions, earning some of the biggest women's titles outside of WWE. And since then has held the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship on multiple occasions. Don't let the looks fool you. Dolan can be as tough as nails in the ring. And with toxic attraction by her side, nothing can stop her. Here comes the Queen of Extreme. And from Semper, North Carolina, Lita. A true fearless daredevil, the Hall of Famer herself, Lita. Haley, a couple of women have held the original women's championship more than Lita. And Lita can still compete at a level to overtake them, I guarantee you. Without question, as much as Lita has accomplished in our industry, she has not missed a beat. A Hall of Famer and an icon in the women's division. And their opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, no stranger to WrestleMania. In fact, an event that she has competed at on five different occasions. And Trish excels in high-pressure situations, all but one of those matches with four women's championships, Saxton.
And this battle royal is underway. Again, the rules over the top rope. Both feet hit the floor. Send one over. Lita has been eliminated. She flips it back up. Got an Missed timing with that springboard. This strat has full control here. Everyone needs a little glory bomb. Oh, beautiful teamwork. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. This is just establishing dominance followed by a stop. Classic in this. Trish Stratus, a middle of the 
It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. to see what's best for business. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game. Only three men with double-digit WrestleMania wins, Undertaker, Cena, and this man. Triple H has defeated Booker T, Randy Orton, and Batista at WrestleMania. Yeah, get this, second only to Hulk Hogan in main event show-closing WrestleMania matches. Because on this stage is where Triple H is his most cerebral, his most brutal at the showcase of Immortals. This competitor has the pressure of the world on his shoulders, not only facing the rock, but also having to deal with the millions in the WWE Universe. Austin and 
Cena on this grand stage. Yeah, The Rock has also hosted WrestleMania and even holds the record for the quickest WrestleMania match at six seconds. That's twice as long as you'd last, Saxton. Excuse me. A third generation superstar who honors his family starting all the way at the top with the high chief, Peter Maivia. Without a doubt, furthering his family's legacy in sports entertainment and cementing his own spot on the WWE Mount Rushmore. His greatness transcends eras in WWE history. Powered up in the iron paradise, Team Bring It is a lifestyle. The superstars are in the ring, the bell is rung, and all the rules are now out the window. This is the no DQ match. You can tell these superstars have been eagerly awaiting this. They wanted to duke it out in a no limit. Uh-oh. Out presentation of power there. It's not. And it rolls them off. Close line. Up with their head. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Right to run into a neck breaker. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. He thinks he has it. And the rock kicks out. Could be in search of a second win now. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Executed move we just saw there. And he barely evades. <laughs> Powell's position to be in right now. <laughs> that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Uh-oh, open up for the Tigers. Tiger suplex. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. The Rock looking to supercharge those millions and millions of fans of his. No boundaries, no rules, no asylum in a Falls Count Anywhere match. It's definitely a shoulders down. And he kicks out at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. The Rock with a great dodge. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Oh, man. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Said his whole career. Just bring it. <laughs> Fishing for something beneath the ring. Oh, well, maybe slow down there, Wild David. That might be it. Stops the count before it, too. He's still in this. Big time <laughs> spine buster. the match that could have gone either way oh! Oh! the rock taking complete he thinks he has it and he gets the shoulder up before two not getting the two at this point has got to say something he may get the three count right here i think so kick out just before two right now i just don't know what it's gonna take 
Uh oh. About to hit. Yeah. That just waylaid the game. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. Triple H got the shoulder up in the nick of time. Incredible awareness to remain in this matchup. And guys, The Rock is not happy with that result. Thought it was over, but the kick out surprised him. Shot in the face gets them out of that spot. Had Triple H well scouted. Evading offense. Down, what a good buster. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, jarring back elbow. The whole WWE universe is smelling. What the rock is cooking. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Catching a drop kick. And the game got outplayed with that offensive strike. Yeah, Rock's not gonna let up either. From the top. He moved, but can he capitalize? Boom. Oh, ouch. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Back suplex. Spine crushing. Rock sensed that, that was coming. His opponent flashing that bat. <laughs> Saw that one coming. And that was a success. Does he have it here? Two. Oh, got the shoulder up just at the last minute. At two and a half, he kicked out. Triple H and the Rocker locked in a colossal standstill. We might just be one rock bottom or one pedigree from finding out our winner. The game with the double underhook. Here we go. Triple H has this all sewn up for the win. Two. Oh, my. That was close. One. Triple H now looking for a submission. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to hurt the legs. The Bravo Bull. The Rock.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Ah, the beast is in the house. It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. Brock Lesnar began his career dominating WWE, was nearly unstoppable in MMA, and has spent over a decade dominating the WWE landscape since returning. A man who has been virtually unstoppable. The Tribal Chief has arrived. He's the first ever undisputed WWE Universal Champion. You know, he's no stranger to WrestleMania. Four straight WrestleMania main events against Triple H, Undertaker, and twice against Brock Lesnar. For the head of the table, there is no spot but the main event. Always goes the extra mile in WrestleMania, representing the head of the table. Well, he continues his and the NOIE family's legacies at WrestleMania.
defeating Lesnar? Well, you can almost write your ticket to becoming a legend. A task few have been able to accomplish, and many have fallen to the beast. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman! There's the Universal Championship seen by many as the grandest accomplishment possible in all of sports entertainment. champion always carries a lot of distractions a lot of responsibilities to worry about the champ needs not worry about anything else than what's in front of him he knows what a capable dangerous competitor his challenger is no doubt that the champ is off his game and they may be removing the name plates off the universal title Situation. A oh, great counter. Held in a perilous position. Players face first. Push their opponent's oh. legs. Oh. Oh. Uh, arm bar. Punishing stretch. And that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now. It might. Oh, schoolboy! Oh. Shoulders oh. down here. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pin. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Defiant counter to Reigns. Oh, he retaliates. Producing a trampling. He fends off the attack. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Lights out. Lesnar with a well-timed shot. Corey, what does Roman Reigns have to do tonight to beat Brock? I don't have a definitive answer for you. I will say that I believe of all people, Roman Reigns has finally found what we could consider the weak link in Brock Lesnar's armor, the Beast's Achilles heel, if you will. Roman is covered by the champ. He easily stops the ref's count. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought.
Here is your winner, and still, WWE Universal Champion, Rey 